Is creatine dangerous after 50? The answer will surprise you. Stick with me. This might completely change how you think about it. Creatine has a really bad reputation among older adults. People often say it damages the kidneys, causes dehydration, stresses the heart, or is only meant for young bodybuilders. If you've heard those warnings, you're not alone. They've been repeated for years. But here's the surprising truth. Most of those fears are based on outdated information or simple misunderstandings. Creatine is actually one of the most researched supplements in the world with decades of studies behind it. And when you look at what the research really says, the story is very different from the rumors. As we age, our bodies naturally lose muscle, strength, and energy. Recovery slows down, and even daily activities can start to feel harder than they used to. Creatine works directly on the systems that decline with age, helping support energy production, muscle preservation, and even brain function. That's why more researchers and health experts are now re-evaluating creatine, especially for people over 50. So today, we're cutting through the noise and talking honestly. Is creatine actually dangerous after 50, or has it been unfairly misunderstood for years, and could avoiding it be doing more harm than good? Let's break it all down and look at the facts, not the fear. But before we begin, drop your name and the city you're watching from in the comments below. Alright, let's get into it. First, let's talk about what actually changes after 50, because this part matters more than most people realize. As you get older, your body naturally goes through a process called age-related decline. Muscle mass slowly decreases, strength drops, and power output becomes weaker over time. On top of that, your body produces less ATP, which is the main energy molecule your cells use to function. This is one of the biggest reasons everyday activities start to feel harder than they used to. Standing up from a chair, climbing stairs, carrying groceries, or even walking for longer periods can suddenly feel exhausting. And no, this isn't because you're lazy or out of shape. It's biology doing what biology does. This is where creatine becomes interesting, especially after 50. Creatine plays a direct role in ATP production. Think of ATP as the fuel that powers muscle contractions and cellular energy. When ATP levels drop, everything feels harder. Creatine helps your body recycle ATP faster, giving your muscles and cells quicker access to usable energy. That means movements feel smoother, strength feels more available, and fatigue doesn't hit as quickly. What's important to understand is that this isn't about turning back the clock or suddenly lifting heavy weights. It's about maintaining function. Creatine supports your ability to move, react, and perform daily tasks with less effort. Many older adults report feeling more capable, more stable, and less drained throughout the day when their energy systems are supported properly. So when people say, getting weaker is just part of aging, that's only half true. Some decline is natural, but how fast it happens and how much it affects your quality of life is something you actually have influence over. Creatine doesn't stop aging, but it helps your body work with it instead of against it. Now let's clear up the biggest fear, kidneys, because this is the myth that scares more people away from creatine than anything else, especially after 50. You've probably heard someone say, creatine is hard on your kidneys, or, my doctor warned me about it. But when you actually look at decades of scientific research, a very different picture appears. In healthy adults, creatine has not been shown to damage kidney function, even when taken for years at recommended doses. Here's where the confusion comes from. When you take creatine, a compound called creatinine in your blood may increase slightly. Creatinine is simply a waste byproduct that your kidneys filter out every day. Doctors often use creatinine levels as a marker to check kidney function, so when they see a higher number, it can look alarming. But this increase does not mean the kidneys are being harmed. It just means there's more creatine being processed, which is completely normal. Think of it like this. Seeing more cars on a highway doesn't mean the road is breaking down. 
it just means the road is being used. Multiple long-term studies on adults, including older adults, have shown no decline in kidney health from creatine supplementation when used properly. The key factors are simple, stay hydrated, use normal doses, usually 3 to 5 grams per day, and avoid it only if you already have advanced kidney disease unless cleared by a doctor. In fact, dehydration, not creatine itself, is usually the real problem. When people don't drink enough water, they blame creatine for symptoms that are actually caused by poor hydration. So, if you're over 50, healthy, and drinking enough fluids, creatine isn't a kidney destroyer. For most people, it's one of the most researched and safest supplements available, and the fear around it is far bigger than the actual risk. But creatine doesn't stop at muscles, it works on your brain too, and this is one of the most overlooked benefits, especially after 50. Your brain is actually one of the most energy-hungry organs in your entire body. Even though it makes up only about 2% of your body weight, it uses roughly 20% of your daily energy. Every thought, memory, decision, and reaction relies on a steady supply of ATP the same energy molecule creatine helps produce. As we age, the brain becomes less efficient at making and storing its own creatine. That's one reason many people over 50 notice changes like slower thinking, trouble concentrating, forgetfulness, or that familiar brain fog, especially during stressful or mentally demanding days. Supplementing with creatine helps replenish those energy reserves allowing brain cells to function more smoothly and efficiently. Many people who take creatine consistently report sharper focus, improved memory recall, and better mental clarity. Tasks that once felt mentally draining, long conversations, problem solving, learning new skills, start to feel easier again. This doesn't mean creatine turns you into a genius overnight, but it can help your brain operate closer to its optimal level. Creatine also plays a role in stress resilience. During periods of mental or emotional stress, your brain burns through energy at a much faster rate. Creatine acts like a backup battery, stepping in when energy demand spikes. This can help reduce mental fatigue, overwhelm, and that fried feeling you get after a long, stressful day. In short, creatine isn't just about lifting weights or building muscle. It's about supporting the energy systems that keep your brain sharp, focused, and resilient, which becomes more valuable, not less, as you get older. Here's another benefit almost nobody mentions, but it might be one of the most important as you get older, balance and stability. When people think about creatine, they usually picture big muscles and gym performance, but creatine doesn't just support the large visible muscles. It also helps the smaller stabilizer muscles in your legs, hips, and core. These muscles are constantly working in the background to keep you upright, balanced, and coordinated during everyday movements. Every time you walk on uneven ground, turn quickly, step off a curb, or stand up from a chair, those stabilizer muscles kick in. As we age, they tend to weaken faster than we realize which is one reason balance issues and falls become more common after 50. Creatine helps these muscles produce energy more efficiently, making them stronger, more responsive, and better at reacting when you lose your balance slightly. The result isn't flashy, but it's powerful. Better balance means fewer stumbles, fewer close calls, and a lower risk of falls, which can be life-changing events as we get older. It also means more confidence in your movement. You walk with a steadier stride, feel more secure on stairs, and don't hesitate as much when moving through daily life. This isn't about becoming an athlete, it's about feeling safe in your own body. When your muscles respond faster and your balance improves, everyday activities feel easier and less stressful. That quiet confidence knowing your body can support you is one of the most valuable benefits creatine can offer as you age. So, is creatine dangerous after 50? Or is avoiding it actually the bigger risk?
This is the question more people should be asking, because when you look past the myths and scare stories, the real picture becomes very clear. Creatine has been studied for decades across different ages, activity levels, and health conditions, and the consistent finding is this. For healthy adults, creatine is not only safe, but incredibly beneficial, especially as the body gets older. After 50, several things naturally decline at the same time. Muscle mass slowly shrinks, strength drops, recovery takes longer, and everyday energy isn't what it used to be. On top of that, brain energy and mental sharpness can start to feel less reliable. Creatine directly supports all of these areas. It helps preserve muscle, improves strength and power, supports faster recovery, and even provides energy support for the brain. These aren't cosmetic benefits, they're functional ones that affect how you move, think, and feel every single day. What's important to understand is that creatine isn't trying to make you younger in some magical way. It simply helps your cells do their job more efficiently. It supports ATP production, which is the basic energy currency of your body. When your cells have more readily available energy, everything works a little better from climbing stairs to maintaining balance to staying mentally sharp under stress. That's why many researchers and health experts now describe creatine as one of the most powerful supplements for healthy aging. Not because it's trendy, and not because it promises miracles, but because it supports the exact systems that decline with age. When used responsibly, with proper hydration and realistic expectations, creatine isn't something to fear after 50. For many people, it's one of the smartest, simplest ways to support strength, independence, and quality of life as the years go on. Now I want to hear from you. Have you avoided creatine because of fear, warnings, or something you heard years ago? Or are you already using creatine after 50 and noticing changes in your strength, energy, or even mental clarity? Everyone's experience is different, and that's exactly why the conversation matters. For some people, creatine feels like a game changer, helping them move easier, recover faster, and feel more confident in their daily life. For others, the hesitation is still there, usually because of outdated myths or confusing information online. If you're still on the fence, that's completely okay. Supplements aren't about pressure, they're about understanding your options and choosing what actually supports your body. And if you are already taking creatine, your insight could help someone else who's unsure or nervous about starting. So drop a comment below and share your experience or your biggest concern. Are you worried about kidneys, dosage, timing, or whether creatine is even necessary at this stage of life? And if you want a follow-up video, let me know what you'd like to see next. I can break down exactly how much creatine to take after 50, talk honestly about possible side effects, or walk you through the best beginner-friendly protocol with zero guesswork. If this video helped clear things up, hit like, subscribe, and stay tuned, because we're just getting started. I'll see you in the next video.